Welcome back trainers and the reason why I have this video up so late is because I was out grinding from about 10 a.m. until 8 p.m. The Latios didn't start spawning until about 1 p.m. which we hit our first one around 102 or so and then I did about 24 of those raids and it was a good time. I found pretty good ones and I'm not too concerned about the IVs personally right now because I do have a hundred and I don't have any plans to max out any other ones although I haven't even powered that one up yet. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at the 100% IV and you can see the weaknesses, resistances, as well as all the stats here over on the Go Hub. So 100% IV is going to be a 2178 and the lowest one is going to be 2090. Weather boosted, 100% IV is going to be 2723 and the lowest one is going to be 2613. All right, now let's go ahead and talk about how to hit excellent throws. Now the image to the left is where you're going to want to set your circle. Uh, you could have it a little bit bigger, but that's where I like to set mine personally. So you can see it's just sitting right above that white crest on top of its forehead there and a little bit outside of those kind of uh, the ears he has, the pointy ones. And you can see that you are able to see the image behind it as well. So that's how much space you can have. Now the image to the right is after you've thrown it and it's kind of going back into its normal state here. So just to give you an idea as to where to set it when you're trying to catch it and before you start throwing that pokeball. Now this one's going to be, I wouldn't say too difficult. Once you get it down, it's fairly easy to hit them over and over again. Uh, what you're going to have to learn is if you want to hit it while it's up at top, because uh, it will be going and doing its animation while it's at the bottom here, as well as when it lifts up. Now it will be having a marker on the screen indicating exactly where I will be letting go and a good indication as to when you see that black marker around the premier ball, kind of when you're spinning it, it will disappear when you let go of it. I do believe there's a couple millisecond delay, but it's a great indication as to when I'm letting go. So I will have it in reverse as well as slowed down there so you can have a good idea. And when it does that kind of scoop animation, that's when you're going to be throwing it. Now this is when it's lower. Uh, when it does rise above, that's going to be a different story. We're going to go over that as well. So we do have the marker set to a different spot here. And you will be throwing the premiere ball, so it will be going and protruding to the top of the screen. And that is the animation that you want to see before throwing it so you don't hit it too late or too early. Uh, if you can get it down a little bit better, uh, you can do so. But for me, this is what I do and coming in there. So you wanna kinda hit it almost towards the very end of his animation. Otherwise, you can get stuck in another one and he will just simply hit it away. Now, another thing to take note of is if you do find a shiny, you have nothing to worry about. Simply landing one hit is all you need because it's going to be a 100% guaranteed catch. Now, if you're going very fast, it could be catch locked, in which case it will keep breaking out and you guys better slow down or whatever you need to do on your bike or skateboard or whatever you're on uh, and just stop and simply catch it. Make sure you use a pineapple berry so you can get extra candies because uh, that's simply what you would want to do because it's 100% catch rate. Uh, other than that, practice in practice. So this was my first Latios encounter, so I'd say I did pretty good on the excellent throw, seeing that it's been gone for some time. Uh, I did miss once or twice. Uh, I did cut those out in the beginning, but you're going to see how I catch it here. It's quite hilarious. So we just keep hitting these excellent throws over excellent throws with the golden raspberry. Uh, let's see what happens here, though. Uh, so this is a 2141. It's not great, but I still wanted to catch my first one anyways. So we do hit it outside of the ring. <laughs> excellent throw, excellent throw. Let's see. And that's shake three. Okay, and we catch it. And we're, you know, not even hitting an excellent throw. So pretty interesting how that works out as well. Anyways, let's go ahead and go check out my current Latios stash. All right, now taking a look at my Latioses for the day. Some did run away. Well, quite a few of them because just going from raid to raid. And I just didn't feel like wasting my time on a lot of them. So let's see. The best one that I got is going to be this 96, 14, 14, 15. Not bad. Pretty good, right? Then we have this 93, 14, or 15, 14, 13, I think. This one right here is going to be a little bit better at a 15, 11, 14. You know, that lower defense is what we like. And then from before when we had them, I do have this beautiful 100, which I have yet to power up. So let's go ahead and go by CP and see what else we have going on here. We want the highest one up here. 27, 11 is going to be that great. I don't think it is a weather booster. That's why it's like that. Simply amazing HP attack. Um, what? Excuse me. Really? Hold on. Hold on a second. I need to check this really quick. Okay, so um, did not realize I was sitting on this gem here. 15, 13, 15. Weather boosted Latios. Um, hmm. Okay, well, if I did power one up, this is definitely a candidate right here. So uh, yeah, it's pretty neat. And otherwise, let's go ahead and check out. 
Uh, how low can you go? That's what that stands for because it is a flat liner here. I believe a 10, 10, 10, which is a bit of a prize anyway. So HP, attack, defense, and yeah, that's uh, that's what it is. All right, so let's see how many cannons we have going on here. Uh, 180. Okay, so I don't know. I, I don't think I'm gonna power one of these up. It's great for PvP, so don't get it twisted. It is okay for raids. And you may see me gaining a bunch of friendship with all of my friends here it's because we have a pretty tight-knit community. I want to give a big shout out to all of my friends too. Thank you for all those raids today. That was some good stuff. Now I'm going to show you a trick here. As you're in the raid boss animation screen before you beat it and it's shrinking down, uh, it will have that number there. And it will indicate to you what you're going to get when you go into the catch screen. So that was 2163. And uh, let's go ahead and take a look at that. I know this is a trick that has been well known for a while, but some people still don't understand. So we're going to explain it now. So are we going to get 2163? 2163. All right, let's take a look at the next one here. What is it going to be? The clouds are in the way. It's going to be hard to see. Uh, so this one's going to be landing on 2158. Now, other than the clouds getting in your way or the background movement or images, you should be able to tell there as long as you're paying attention. And we have... 2158 so i do believe we're coming up on another image with clouds in the way so let's see if we can guess this again 2151 is the cp of this raid boss here so there you go as simple as that there's no way to know if you're going to get a shiny beforehand you're just going to have to go into that catch screen and that's all i have for you today folks sorry no shinies for me i did as many as i could and that's why this video up is so late I just, you know, it is what it is. Random number generator. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at an Alola and Raichu speedrun. And maybe, just maybe, I might get a shiny here. Thank you for watching, trainers. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And I'll be catching you all next time. Take care.